the sales team as we know it is going to go extinct in 2026. And it's all down to just this one AI tool. And the reason is quite simple. Everything that your traditional sales team can do, this tool does better, cheaper, and it doesn't need time off as it can run 24 seven on complete autopilot in the background after you set it up. 99% of sales teams are spending hours on building company lists using tools like Apollo, Cognizant, or ZoomInfo. And yes, a lot of the time the sales teams are still qualifying and researching each individual one of those companies and accounts manually in order to qualify them for their product or service service or mass blasting innocent leads with pitch slaps in their cold emails worse than a tech granddad that just discovered ChatGPT. And yes, that's why most of the emails that you're receiving right now probably sound overly robotic AI generated and you could just tell that the sales reps have not put too much time and effort into researching you and your company before reaching out. And the most depressing part? One SDR costs an American company $57,000 on average per year. And to make things even worse, the average tenure of one sales development representative right now is around 14 months, which means that in a lot of cases, you spend more time recruiting and replacing SDRs than you actually spending working with them within your company. Any sales team that is planning to grow their revenue through hiring, babysitting and training up entry level sales reps is doing things the old way. And it's no surprise that the big boys like Ramp, Notion and Intercom, all huge companies are switching to the new way for SDRs or entry level sales reps that they expect to do manual tasks which largely involve lead generation, cold emailing and other manual tasks like researching accounts. So the strategy that I'll be talking to you about today is called GTM engineering and it revolves around literally just one tool. Everyone in sales that I know keeps talking about about it. All I hear is clay, 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 clay. This platform even raised over $200 million at a valuation of over 2 billion, almost overtaking other giants like ZoomInfo, Salesforce, and Apollo. And yes, there is a pretty good reason for that. You can basically think of clay as a bridge between all the data. Typically, there are three types of data that most sales reps deal with. And first of all, we have company data. So in other words, lists of companies or accounts that you're going after. Secondly, a lot of the time you have job data, whereby when you look at open role postings across your total addressable market and you use the job data as a trigger or as a signal for a company requiring your product or service. And thirdly, we have people data. In other words, all the lead lists that you typically would source from platforms like ZoomInfo, Lucia, or Apollo. The cool thing with Clay, and the reason that everyone raves about Clay, is because it connects every single data provider that you can possibly think of inside of their platform so you can automatically access company and people data and all of this good stuff at a click of a button inside of Clay. Let's imagine that I'm inside of a Clay table over here. All I have to do is click on actions in the top right hand corner and type in find companies. And within a click of a button over here, I can spare myself the tedious nature of going on LinkedIn Sales Navigator or Apollo. And instead in one click over here, I can start filtering for companies that generate a specific amount in revenue, that raise a specific amount in funding. All I can then do is just click on continue and import it to an existing table. Now here is the difference. A lot of the time you can do the same filtering for companies in a platform like Apollo but typically you would need to just export that CSV and research those accounts. In contrast to this think about Clay as a spreadsheet on absolute steroids. So within a click of another button if we type in Claygent over here we can use AI to qualify the accounts. So for instance we can ask it to see if it's a good fit based on a specific screening criteria for instance the headcount of the company the location where it is, or any other information. And the best part is that AI can also access the website of this company, the LinkedIn company page of this company, and everything else in order to determine if this company fits the ICP or not. So simply put, you're not just finding the companies, you can also qualify them for a good fit for you. And going back to this image, Clay can help us do one of three things. Either qualify the companies and prospects to see if they're a good fit for us, enrich that information. So for instance, if we now want to find people working at these companies, all we need to do is click on actions and type in find people. And that's known as an enrichment because we're basically trying to enrich and find out more information about this company and about the employees. 
So over here, we can click on find people and within a click of a button, straight away, we can filter for the job titles and everything of that sort as well. And we can go as far as actually personalizing every single email inside of Clay as well with just a click of a button over here. My personal favorite is using the generate outreach with deep research enrichment inside of Clay, which enables you to personalize every single email. So let's just take a quick look at one random personalized email that this specific enrichment generated for us. So for instance, let's go for Mark, who is a group finance director. And this is the kind of personalized email that we can send at scale to each individual person. So in this case, in the opening line, we already personalize it based on the business structure. So in this case, AI researched that this company has 18 different subsidiaries in total. And that was researched using AI for us. Straight away, that's relevant for the client on behalf of who we're reaching out here. So it says, hey, with 18 subsidiaries in your group, keeping reporting accurate and on time is not simple. The March filing deadline always puts pressure on teams to handle group accounts. Worth noting that this second line is also generated based on company sales information. In other words, AI visited the company sales page to understand when the financial year ends for this company. Once again, super personalized, super specific. And then later on, of course, we have a soft offer with a call to action offering our services of filing accounts faster. You're basically just one action away from enriching data, qualifying data, and personalizing email outreach. And this saves tens of thousands of hours for sales reps and for sales teams that know how to leverage Clay properly. And the best part, as you can see from the image on your screen right now, after you generate those personalized emails, all you need to do is click on actions in the top right hand corner, and you can send this email automatically via whatever email automation tool you use, whether it's Smart Lead, Instantly, Lemlist, like Growth Machine, whatever it is, all you need to do is just type in the name of the tool, click on add lead to campaign, and automatically there you are. You can send out those emails completely automatically at scale. Now, if your goal is not email automation, and let's say you just want to research this account and push them straight into your CRM, you can type in HubSpot, and within a click of a button, you could just update the contact or update the company record inside of HubSpot as well. And of course, there are hundreds of different other use cases for Clay as well. You may just want to notify your sales rep for some sort of research that you've done in an account, in which case all you need to do is just type in Slack over here. You would see the send message to channel action. And all you need to do is just basically fill those in and automatically this person will be getting all the research that we've done on their accounts or the prospects sent directly into Slack as soon as that happens. So if you think about it, every step in the sales process, inbound or outbound lead generation is powered by just one thing. And that thing is data. A lead may submit a form on your website and straight away that lead will be added into your HubSpot CRM. Or maybe you create a lead list in Apollo. All of that is just data in motion from one tool to another tool. And instead of trying to plaster all of these tools and buying all of these expensive subscriptions, all you basically need is to connect Clay to your existing tech stack in order to streamline all of the data workflows without having to learn how to code or use one of these AI agents that are so hyped up right now. You can basically think of Clay as your AI powered employee that can access over 100 different data providers, scrape any website, identify, enrich, and personalize any sort of outreach messaging that you want to be sent out to your target prospects based on any random criteria that you can possibly imagine and research manually otherwise. Simply put, you can do anything that a team of sales reps does using a mix of AI and basic prompting knowledge. In my opinion, rather than trying to grow your revenue through hiring more individual sales reps that all have the same kind of skill sets. Instead, I would recommend for the bigger companies to be hiring one go-to-market engineer that can handle tools like Clay, who know how to scrape company and people information from different websites, and who can balance that out together with the email infrastructure to make sure that you can actually send cold outreach emails at scale without being stuck in spam. Now, it's about time that I just show you a quick way that you can go about building your first ever Clay table so that you can build up your confidence inside of Clay. So as an example, let's say you're selling a point of sale system POS for restaurants. I'll make sure to add my link down below so you can get 2000 free Clay credits when you sign up for a paid plan. And inside of Clay, it'll be as simple as you going inside of your Clay workspace, clicking on new, click on workbook. And over here, let's just call this table POS selling. So we're selling a point of sales system for restaurants. So all we need to do in, over here is first of all, click on blank table on the left hand side. We can call it table one restaurants. Of course, you can always click on actions and have a browse through hundreds of different enrichments that we have over here. 
But in this case, I'll be using this tool called OpenMart, which is specifically good to find local businesses. All I'm going to do here is type in OpenMart at the top, find local businesses using OpenMart. You can see it will cost me one credit per row. I'm going to type in over here, click on continue. And the search terms will literally be restaurants. The locations, I'm not totally sure. Let's just go for New York. Let's limit it to 10 restaurants to start with. Of course, we can complicate things by filtering for minimum parent company locations or maximum parent company locations to exclude certain big branches like Cheesecake Factory or something of that sort. We can also filter to make sure that each restaurant has a website and that that website load successfully for instance and we can go as far as filtering for google ratings but for the purpose of this i'm not really going to focus on this too much but instead the only filter that i really will care about is this one where it says open mart has parent company decision makers name in which case i'll say at least one decision maker's name is present and then i'm going to click on submit we should be able to see that the clay table loads with 10 random restaurants if we click here on business found we can see all the services that the local business offers in which case over here will be homemade pizzas desserts and private event rooms we also have access to the website of this specific company we can even straight away pull up the google and yelp reviews and we have the business contact information which is useful for this location but also for the parent company if it's a bigger chain as well if we want to automate outreach on other platforms like twitter facebook or instagram it's right in front of us here as well but for the time being i'm going to be as sensible as possible i'm going to click on actions again type in open mart and find this find people at company enrichment so i'm just going to click on that really quickly we'll have the website we'll have the company name and all the details filled in automatically for us we can also include the emails. So automatically, not only are we going to get the information about the decision makers, the owners of these companies, we will also have their email addresses. And if we want to spend even more credits, we can even get access to their phone numbers. So in this case, I'm going to limit it to one person per company. Click on save save and run 10 rows in this view. Whilst this loads, can I just tell you that in fact, over 80% of you watching this video right now are not subscribed to the channel. So please do your best and subscribe to this channel if you like this video so far. Now, as we can see, the open mart step over here has loaded. And one thing that I recommend inside of the clay table is always to click on rename column. So all you would need to do is left click over here, click on rename column, and you can just call it step one, find person and email of the person. And in this case, if we click on the decision maker found part, we should be able to see the full name of the person. We can see their job title. So all we'll now do is just click on the right hand side and add it as a column over here. On top of that, we have the LinkedIn profile URL of the individual. So if for whatever reason we want to check that out in our own time, we'll have the LinkedIn profile URL over here where possible as well. So let's just recap what we've done so far. So we used OpenMart already in order to find some restaurants. We then went on to find the founders, owners and directors of those restaurants, which we can see right in front of us over here. And if we want to find their email address, all we need to do is click on actions over here, type in work email. And over here, we can select the work email enrichment, whereby we need to give it the full name, website, LinkedIn URL. And that's pretty much that. You can click on the full configuration page over here to see every single email provider. And for context, we will be running what's called an email waterfall in order to use over five different providers in order to find the valid email addresses of those individuals. So specifically, we're trying to find the email addresses of those individuals over here, who are mainly the founders, owners, and CEOs of these restaurants. After that, we can click on save and run 10 rows in this view. And within just a couple of seconds, we should see that it starts loading up the clay table with the work emails. If we want to track the progress, we can just click on the toggle over here, and we should be able to see that it starts off with lead magic, it moves on to other email finders, over here. And basically the end goal is to find a verified email. So more or less, we found the email addresses of all 10 individuals because we can see their work emails over here. And we can also see the personal emails found on the right hand side over here as well. If we think about the time they would take in order for a sales rep to go to Google Maps to find each one of those local restaurants in order to then have to go to another platform like Apollo to find the decision makers details, this is already saving us two to three hours of doing that at least. And more than that, after we do this, we can then click on add column again, click on message. And over here, we can just generate a message by clicking backslash on our keyboard in order to refer to the first name of an individual. So this way we can type an email to each individual saying, hi, first name, I saw you have a, and then we can quote their rating, star rating according to Google. Nice one, curious 
have you thought of running Google ads for your restaurant? This is just an example of one random email that we can send across. I'm not saying it's a good email. It just shows to you really quickly how you can pick up clay completely from scratch. We can click on save over here. You can see this email will be sent to each one of those individuals that we found working at these companies. And more than that, with a click of a button, we can click on actions in the top right corner. We can select whatever email automation tool of choice we want to use. In this case, I'm going to be using Smart Lead. So I'm going to click on add lead to campaign. I'm going to select the campaign that I want to add the lead to. And over here, all I need to do is just to pass through email number one and select the body of the email. And within just a couple of seconds, all we need to do is just select the specific campaign where we want to add the lead, add all of the details, click on save and run 10 rows. And straight away, this will push all of the leads into email outreach. And now that you can finally see the potential in clay.com, you might want to learn all the different ways that you can use clay for your business and what makes it different to any other tool that exists. So click here to go check out the next video where I show you eight insane clay.com use cases so you can learn how the tool works or even steal some of these ideas and clay templates for when you give clay a try. Anyways, I'll see you in that video.